Greetings, Mech Warriors, and welcome back to the Draconis Rift. In this episode, we are going back to the beginning and reviewing the tales of the Black Widow Company. This was the first scenario pack produced for Battletech. In fact, it was the first item ever produced to support the board game. It came before the Legendary House books, the original Technical Readout 3025, and the first novel run. It was released under the Fossil logo in 1985 under the product code of 1605, just one year after the original Battle Droids box set was released. At the time, Battle Droids had become Battletech, but this scenario pack straddles both names. The Battle Droid construction rules were used for the mechs introduced in this pack, but everything is labeled Battletech. Also, several battle mechs introduced in a Battletech box set do not make an appearance as only the 11 mechs introduced in the Battle Droids box, plus those introduced in this pack, are mentioned. The focus of this particular item is the Black Widow Company of the Wolf Dragoons Mercenary Unit and its leader, the Queen of Spades, the First Lady of Death, the Black Widow, Natasha Kerensky. No relation to the Marvel Black Widow. She is the first character to be given artwork as well as the beginnings of a backstory within the universe. To say she is iconic to the franchise would be an understatement. Now onto the hard details. The book weighs in at 52 pages if you count the internal and exterior covers. The first three pages give you a table of contents, a list of credits, and an introduction on how to use this book. You will quickly notice the names of Jordan K. Weissman, L. Ross Babcock III, William H. Keith Jr., and Jim Holloway, and many others. The original creators, writers, and artists who brought the universe to life and their work is to be found in here. Pages 4 through 6 give you a rundown of the career of the Wolf Dragoon's mercenaries unit across the Inner Sphere for the major houses. Page 7 gives you the origin of the Black Widow Company in 3014 and their notable actions. Pages 8 through 13 introduce you to the 12 members of the Black Widow Company, the battle mechs they pilot, and the conditions of their machines. Yes, this item is set within the Third Succession War, and many mechs have permanent damage that cannot be repaired, and replacements are almost non-existent. Now, pages 14 through 47 give you 15 separate scenarios based on the actual missions of the Black Widow Company. They are Lady Sings the Blues, Queen's Gambit, Scavenger Hunt, Spider Trap, The Lady and the Tiger, Leave No Survivors, Dawn Patrol, Fog of War, The Bounty Hunter, Ladies Man, Ghost Unit, and the Battle of Hoff, which is actually a group of four connected scenarios. Each scenario includes a piece of fiction describing the scenario history and or situation. Then you have the game setup rules that tell players how to set up each scenario and what mechs would be involved. Key note here, as this was very early in the Battletech universe, each record sheet had to be made out by hand. There were no record sheet packs to download and print in 1985. Rules for deployment and determining victory conditions are also specialized for each scenario. Several scenarios also had adverse weather conditions or specific building slash terrain modifications. The size of these scenarios run from a lance on lance or 4 mechs versus 4 mechs engagement to a company versus company or 12 mechs versus 12 mechs battle. Within these scenarios, you are given the first references to the Bounty Hunter, another infamous character in the universe, also, the first reference to the original battle mech, the Mackie, appears, as well as technical details to use the unit within the game. Plus, the double heat sinks make their first appearance. Yes, the game was not even a year old at this point, and new technology was being added to the game. Now, for those who want to use these scenarios, keep in mind that these are the first scenarios ever built for Battletech, and they do not quite match up with the current rule set. The new mechs introduced use the old Battle Droids construction rules, and thus are not technically valid for today's rules. Also, these scenarios were created before the Battle Value system existed, so they can appear to be a little lopsided. Also, some units are missing vital information such as piloting and gunnery scores for each unit. So expect to do a little math to help make your games run a bit smoothly if you run these scenarios. Also notice that all the games occur on the same two hex maps. At the time of this product, there were only two maps in existence and no rules for hexless games. Players were expected to put a little effort and follow the specified map changes per scenario. All that said, the scenarios and units are also considered canon within the universe. Some details have been changed or tweaked a bit within the universe, such as planetary conditions and history, but the events that happened back in this product are still relevant in today's gaming. Now onto the artwork. This was the first product to include original artwork for the board game outside the box set, and they still shine today, 
We are given images of various mech warriors and several battles that capture the feeling of the 80s and the Battletech universe. And the final page of this book is a full page preview of an upcoming product, The Fox's Teeth, a review of which will be forthcoming in a future video. Now for those of you who want to purchase this item, you still can despite its age. Catalyst Game Labs has a PDF you can download today. Just note that most of the original artwork is not in the PDF due to legal reasons, so you'll have to find an original copy in the wild or on eBay to obtain this product in its original form. And just let me say, if John Cook is out there viewing this video now, thank you very much, sir. All in all, this is a great product to have in your collection. It gives a feel for the early years of the game as well as introducing some of the most infamous characters that would appear again and again in the lore. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you have any questions or suggestions on a product you would like me to review in the future, please sound off in the comments below. Have a great day, mech warriors!